Oh, I didn't see you there. Hey, since I got you, uh, can I ask a favor of you? If you know Jesse Cox, or Jesse Cox if you're listening by random chance, please feel free to extend an invitation for me to come on your show, or vice versa, you can come on my show, I'd love to have you. I'm a big fan, and uh, yeah, I have like a couple of red hairs in my beard, so I feel like there's a little bit of a connection there. Hello everyone, this is Genuine Polish, and after a short hiatus for finals week, we are finally back. In this video, we are going to be talking about the upcoming update. I know some videos came out last week, but a bunch of hotfixes and features were added since then, and I wanted to just give you guys a better picture of what the update is going to look like when it's actually live. So before we get into the new buildings and quality of life changes, Clay finally added something players have been asking for since pretty much day one. Where are they? It's finally here. Cosmetics. So, Oxygen Not Included is going to get skins for buildings and duplicates coming out in this next update. This is huge. Finally, we can have some customization for our base. So when you're showing your friend your base or looking at content creators, they're just not carbon copies of one another. Clay is giving everyone some free blueprints for this update. So when the update goes live, you're going to want to click on the supply closet on the main menu and connect your Steam account to your Clay account. And then they'll give you some free items to get started, which is pretty cool. Now to get into it. First off, we have a new story trait, the Mysterious Hermit. When loading into a new world and exploring for a bit, you might notice this new building, the Gravitas Container. This is a storage container that has been retrofitted as a house by the Mysterious Hormit. Once you unearth this cavern, you can begin his quest. So the first one is Knock Knock, and in case you were wondering, I tried and was not clever enough to come up with a Knock Knock joke for this video. So that quest is pretty simple, you just send a duplicate to make contact with the Mysterious Hermit. After that, he decides he doesn't want anything to do with your nasty colony. But if you give him three, four plus quality meals, power his party lights for a few cycles, and using our nice new blueprint drywalls, we can increase the decor of the surrounding area, and he just might come out and join your colony. Isn't that giant statue of Kira just inviting? The Mysterious Hermit will hand out balloons to increase morale, and has a pretty good spread of skill points, and besides that, his Gravitas Chamber is a pretty big storage. So that's useful. Next up, we have what I think is one of the most important buildings of this update, the Geotuner. So the Geotuner can amplify and analyze geysers to increase the output by 20%, but doing so will also increase their heat by a fraction. I'm not exactly sure what that number is, but for this leaky oil fissure it was 15 degrees celsius and for the cool slush geyser it was 20 degrees, so it's not an insignificant amount of heat. This building takes up 100 kilograms of abyssalite and uses it to amplify the geyser for 60 seconds of eruption time, which is pretty significant. So now I have some good news and I have some bad news. The good news is that you can use multiple geotuners to amplify a single geyser, which means you can get a lot more out of a single geyser. And if you need to increase the heat output of a geyser, you can increase it easily by around 100 degrees Celsius, which is quite a lot. The bad news though is that shortly after the update was available to testers, the testers reported that it was unbalanced and the dev team limited the amount of maximum geotuners that you could have assigned to one geyser to five. So you can still double the output of a geyser, you just can't abuse the system now, which is unfortunate for late game builds and min maxers. Next up we have the rocket control station, which is not the most viable building in my opinion. It can be placed anywhere with space visibility, and it will increase the speed of rockets for up to two tiles away from the planet that it's on, for 600 seconds or one cycle. Which is pretty good, but it's just not that fantastic. So right now it only increases the speed of rockets by 20%, they might change it to where it scales based on rocket piloting skill, but right now it doesn't look like it does. If I'm being completely honest, I don't think I would bother building this building right now, it just doesn't seem that useful in my opinion. The rocket control the rocket control station requires a laboratory, which is one of the three new rooms. So, the laboratory requires two science buildings and two light sources. It increases the production of science buildings, and finally it gives you an excuse to build some cool labs. Next up we have two new barracks rooms. They removed the normal bedroom and added a luxury barracks, which essentially is a normal barracks built with comfy beds and one decor item. And with that they added the private bedroom, which is pretty much the same thing as the normal bedroom was. It is designed for one comfy bed, two decor items, and has to have a back wall, and it gives a plus three to morale, so it's a pretty big bonus. Now we have the last building, which I think is going to be really useful in late game builds. It's the conduction panel. This building transfers heat through walls using conduction, so you can cool buildings in vacuum rooms without any kind of liquid or gas, which is pretty cool. I think it may be the only way to transfer heat without any kind of fluid. Now you can attach liquid pipes to this building and use that as a heat transfer fluid. This building is super conductive. I would just build this building and have it touch the building I want to cool on the other side of the wall. Because if you have a liquid traveling through a vacuum room that's transferring heat into it, you run the risk of evaporating that liquid depending on your build. So I don't recommend using liquid with this. It's a really good conductor as is, uh, and I don't really understand the point of using liquid. But uh, there's probably some reason for it, or maybe it's going to be reworked a little bit before release. But as of right now, there's not really any point in running liquid through it. Just something to think about. 
Now that we covered all the buildings in the room, it's time to talk about some quality of life. So a nice little quality of life change is that you can build drywall over tiles and vice versa. Unlike before where you first had to deconstruct the tile and then build the drywall, or deconstruct the drywall and then build the tile, which meant you had to micromanage space exposure builds significantly. In the current version of the update, it wasn't implemented correctly, but expect to see it when the update comes live. Next up is a really small quality of life change, but I actually really appreciate it. So they changed the material list to where instead of sliding horizontally, it shows most of the materials in the vertical box, which means you can see what materials you have available for a building without having to scroll back and forth, and it makes it a lot easier just to decide on what materials you want to use at a glance and compare the different stats for materials. Personally, it's something I really appreciate, but it's not a huge game-changing feature. And with that, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it if you like my content please like comment and subscribe you might notice in these next few weeks that the video quality is changing the lighting's changing the audio is changing all this is due to you guys' support just having a steady flow of traffic really encourages me to invest in my content and bring you guys better stuff i was considering making a patreon and where you guys can get access to my minecraft and valheim server so that way it gives people an opportunity to connect and play games with like-minded people and it helps support the channel it's something i've been thinking about if you have any comments on that you can leave those down in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe and i'll see you next time